Hey guys, here we go to the final film study for this fight. Uh, what an awesome fight it was, you guys. And like, I've loved watching the footage and kind of going over it. Um, thanks to you for like all the comments, you guys. There were just so many more than I've been able to get uh, around to answering and, and replying to. Um, like a lot of them, don't, I, I usually get email notifications when I get them, but when there's so many of them, I don't see them. So I have to go back and like read through them all and find them in the comment section. It's it's a lot of time. There's a lot of comments and, and I really appreciate it. And I'm really sorry if I didn't get to your guys' comments and stuff. But, um, but thank you for liking the video. Thank you for... Uh, commenting and sharing your opinions. I love, you know, talking with you guys about it. Um, so here we go into the, the final one. And this is a really interesting one, right? So we had a timing at the beginning of the fight for Lomachenko. And Lomachenko was really trying to put it on Linares. You know, he was being really aggressive and really, you know, smart, right? But he was getting timed. And then all of a sudden, the timing kind of changed. Um, and Lom uh, Lomachenko was really able to put it on Linares um, by by being able to take that timing away from him by not allowing it to be as, um, how do you say it? Um, oh, I'm blanking right now. As 100% of an offense, as reliable, as a reliable source of offense for Linares, even though Linares would catch him in spurts, right? He would still be able to see that, oh, there it is. There he ducked, right? Boom, 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 boom. Throw a combination. But... Uh, when Lomachenko picked up on it, he was able to take that away from Linares and really able to to kind of put Linares on the back foot um, and then start getting really aggressive. Um, if you go back and rewatch some of the rounds, though, uh, which I, I should have done um, and included it in here, uh, Lomachenko was also picking up on another timing once Linares stopped having that ability to kind of just flurry um, when he would see Lomachenko uh, change levels. He started moving and being more... Um, more, trying to be more off the line because he was getting hit with a lot of body shots. So he wanted to keep moving, keep moving his feet, keep moving his body so he wasn't getting hit more. And he wanted to move off the line more. But that caused him to be focused more on his rhythm fighting than, than being planted, which it's really difficult to time you when you're planted because you're not moving, right? So he would just wait for Lomachenko before Lomachenko would change levels and he would just plant his feet and blah, 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 you know? Uh, but now that Lomachenko has been on the move for the last few rounds... Um, the timing, uh, Lomachenko has been able to actually pick up on another timing of his. Um, and we're going to get to kind of take a look at it right here. Um, it was one that I talked about in the film study before where Linares leans into his shot and he does it. A, he's a lot better with it this time in the, in the fight with Campbell, he would really lean into it. Right. But in this one, it's a little more subtle, but Lomachenko was still able to pick up on it. We're going to put it in slow-mo a little bit. Um, and you guys can kind of see, and then we're going to talk about how that leads into the the, the knockout win. Um, but as you can see, watch watch Linares lean forward on his front foot, and then watch Lomachenko put his hands up, right? He'll put his hands up, or that that lead will come in, right? And he'll lean. Lomachenko, uh, Linares will lean, or and Lomachenko will dip to the side, or do this, or do that. Um, and you'll be able to see, as you see him, uh, Linares is jabbing, but Lomachenko is not moving in, away from the jab. He's moving away from the timing of the feet. So watch him. Now watch uh, Linares leans on the front foot and Lomachenko jabs at him, right? Linares is going to lean forward, shoots the jab. L Lomachenko moves back, lean forward. And at, see, as he as Linares leans forward, Lomachenko changes levels on him because he knows that that's the timing that he likes to punch on. Now he leans forward and, shoot, and moves to the side, right? And we're just going to kind of play this clip and, and talk about it. And you can see that Linares is, is being timed on that, in, that, um, in that fashion, and it's going to eventually turn into a lot of offense for Lomachenko, um, but not in that clip. Right here, beautiful boxing from Linares. As you see, as the round develops, Linares looks to lean on that foot and set up that uppercut, which misses. And Lomachenko shoots that and then lands that second punch right there. But all because of the timing that he has on Linares. And there's much better um, offense, as you'll see here. But again, Linares leaning forward. Linares a little planted right there, but stepping forward. Stepping forward and Lomachenko timing him, but beautiful. Now the idea here, right, is so uh, Linares shoots that jab. Lomachenko comes over the top of it, and this is something that I talked about a lot in the the build up to this fight that Linares was going to be easy to time with his jab. And as soon as he, 
Lomachenko was able to take away Linares' game plan and force him back to his boxing style. Uh, Linares, it looks like he reverted back to this style of offense um, that's really easy to time and really easy to to pick apart. And again, it's just a flaw in in Linares' um, technique, kind of. You know, fighters, the way that they move forward, right, rather than... Rather than um, and it's kind of like... When you're fighting amateurs, it's an easy way to kind of hide your offense. You're like, oh, 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 and then you shoot a jab, right? Whereas Lomachenko is very similar, right? He'll lean this way. Oh, you don't do anything, right? Oh, he'll lean this way. Oh, you don't do anything. He'll lean this way, and then he'll lean that way and shoot a right hand, or a left hand rather, right? Lomachenko's from the southpaw, right? Boom. So he'll lean that way, like, and that's what he's doing when he's leaning to the outside. Boom. Or he'll lean that way, catch your lead hand pin it to your face, and then take an angle, boom, 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 right? And he'll catch you with some shots then. But it's very similar, but Linares is, is, is much more rudimentary in that regard, and it's because of the fact that he, when he steps forward, he doesn't bring his back foot with him, right? He steps with it, and it changes his gait, and that's why he punches off of that, uh, because it's putting himself out of position uh, because of the way that he moves his feet apart, uh, when he's walking, and it allows him to shore up that that inability to kind of step forward. Whereas if you watch Lomachenko, he can he's standing there and he can move his whole body forward by pushing off the back foot and bringing it with him, right? Whereas Linares is stepping and then throwing combinations, um, but it changes his gait and the way that he um, the way that he can defend himself or offend his opponent. But Lomachenko is really easily taking advantage of it in this regard. Um, and we'll see more, and we'll see where that goes again. Um, <clears throat> again, Linares on that timing. And watching the right hand, this is a really important facet for later, um, but watch how he he kind of baits L uh, Lomachenko into taking that angle. But it doesn't land, right? It's not landing. Um, it's a way to kind of keep him on the outside and stop him from taking that outside angle. <sighs> but again, very easy... Um, easy for Lomachenko to time Linares. Linares having a very difficult time landing punches because of the fact that uh, Lomachenko always knows where they, when they are. Now, going back to this clip, I, I didn't touch on it. Whoops, is it that one? Uh, this one. Um, one of the... Oh, wait, it was back there. Whatever, I'm not going to go back to it. But, um, oh, this one. One of the biggest keys to this, this clip, and the reason why he's doing this, so... Um, he's putting pressure on L on Linares, right, by leaning forward, right, and coming at him, changing those angles. But what he wants to do is he wants to bait this jab from L uh, Linares. He wants Linares to throw that jab so that he can counter him, so that he can take that shot away from him. And eventually, over time, he can get Linares to stop using it. And once he takes it away, then he can safely move to the outside and start taking angles on him. Um, now, this is a... Um, a very common strategy from a lot of fighters, right? If you watch a lot of fighters, um, you know, just anybody, you know, they'll they'll wait. There there'll be a lot of waiting um, for for their opponent to kind of do something, to throw a punch, right? Like one fight that I talk about a lot is Jean Pascal versus Aletier Alvarez, and there's a lot of waiting in that fight because both of them are waiting for the other one to throw punches so they can counter because they understand that the person who goes first is at a disadvantage. But what Lomachenko is doing here is he's able to feint, right? And although he doesn't do it in this instance, right? He has a timing, um, but he's able to feint and get and bait that jab from Linares so that he can take it away later, which is a much faster way to get your opponent out of position than just waiting. But as you can see, he's putting pressure, he's feinting, he's stepping forward, and like right here, he's able to get Linares to throw that two. He's probably only waiting to get Linares to throw that one right there, but as you can see in this instance, he baits the jab right there, baits the jab right there, baits it right there, and he's able to come back with the shot after Linares throws the one two. Now, this instance right here, again, he knows that Linares is looking to throw the one two now, right? So he takes that, that step forward, Linares is on that same timing, and then he shoots his own straight left hand right into Linares' chin, right? But Linares does something really good, uh, and this is what I talked about in the pregame plan, is uh, punching in combination, right? And he throws a like a four or five punch combination um, and does wind up landing uh, and getting the better, better of Vasily in spite of the fact that um, Lomachenko has the upper hand in the timing. Now again, watch Linares lean forward, 
He leans forward onto his front leg. Lomachenko understands the timing and is able to counter him right there and follow him back with punches. Now, this following him back after countering him is going to be very important for the knockdown when we get to the 10th round. Um, and we'll be there soon. I'm not going to do the whole um, the whole fight. Uh, I kind of go from 7 to 8, and then I jump straight to 10, um, and then we go to the knockdown real quick. But again, uh, Lomachenko able to time him very easily off of that front foot. Boom, counter him one, counter him with the second shot right there uh, because Linares is making it easy for him to time him. And again, watch this. This is really fascinating. So watch Lom uh, Linares on his, his front foot. He's on his front foot right now. Now he's going to start leaning onto his back foot. And as he does that, uh, Lomachenko shoots that jab at him, right? Because he knows that that's not the, the rhythm where he normally throws punches, and he's not even close to being able to land a shot right there. And again, the same exact timing right there, right? Linares leans forward, and then as he's transferring his weight back to his foot, right? Um, because he has, like, poor mechanics for moving forward. It's kind of like a lazy gym move, right? Not hopping forward in and out like Lomachenko is, um, but as he's moving his, his weight back to his back foot, right, Lomachenko is able to follow him and land a two-piece combination. Again, more of the same, Lomachenko, uh, Lonares moving back, right, and being able to pick up that, Lo that Lonares can't fight while he's moving back off of that front foot. Uh, now I'm just going to kind of play it and narrate over it. I'm not going to pause it or anything because we're like 11 minutes in. This was supposed to be a short video. But... Um, a really interesting sequence here. Again, Linares trying to control him with the lead hand. And then, um, actually, I'm going to go back. Now watch Linares step forward on that front foot. And then Lomachenko starts jabbing at him while he steps forward, right? Taking away that jab, making sure that Linares doesn't feel comfortable shooting it, right? And beautiful. If you watch this real quick, right, Linares leans forward. And Lomachenko expects that jab to come out. So he looks to parry it and get control of it, and then take this angle. The reason that he doesn't wind up getting off of the angle, though, uh, and the reason why you want to do this, and why it's so important to get a hand on your opponent, right, uh, is because you want to get your hand on there so you can use their weight to push off and give you a better angle, right? That's why he find, he you, he winds up so far off, is because he doesn't get a piece of, of Linares' arm, so he can't push and pull and kind of drag himself to that outside angle. And that's why he doesn't wind up getting anywhere in that regard. Again, Lomachenko following him back and catching him with that jab right there. Um, oh, and we're already in round 10 now. So uh, I think oh, I only had one clip from round 8. We'll watch that again then. But um, I thought I had more than that. But again, timing the jab, taking the jab away from him, um, and stop, trying to stop him from getting to use it. Uh, then L Linares actually changes to a, a hook style later, um, but Lomachenko shooting the jab right here, catching him with it on the same timing and kind of bodying up on him. Linares, again, doing a very good job of, after getting hit with that shot, controlling Lomachenko with his forearm, right, and pushing off of him and not allowing him to assert that, that lead foot dominance that he took that, off that angle. We'll watch that again one more time. But very important, right? Because he eats that shot. Then Lomachenko looks to frame off of him. And what Lomachenko is looking to do is put all his weight on him, take an angle off the side, and then be in a better position. But L Linares pushes off on him and stops him from being able to utilize the weight advantage that he has. And now again, Lomachenko timing him again and looking to set up offense by getting around the jab. And again, uh, the whole idea from this, baiting the jab, right? to take it away from him so that he can close the distance easier and start landing more power shots. I think the last clip is continuous, so we're just going to kind of watch it right here, but um, I will be pausing it. So he leans forward, and now watch Linares shoots the jab on that timing and then starts moving back, and Lomachenko starts fainting him, and look at how out of position Linares is, right? He's not in position to punch, he's leaning on the back foot, right? And Lomachenko doesn't land anything, right? But again, this is stuff, something that he needs to remember. Um, again, Linares sh uh, off the front foot, getting timed and jabbed, right? Notice he's, he's much less active with his lead hand. Um, and he's starting to kind of get pieced up, you know? Shooting a shot right there off that timing. But what does Lomachenko do? He follows him back, right? And lands that body shot. Very important, very important. Leaning forward, and again... 
right? Linares on that front foot, right? Now he moves to the back foot, and Lomachenko follows him back with it and goes to the body, right? Finding an opening for that body shot right there. Now this is fascinating right here. What? Well, first off, watch Lomachenko, uh, Linares on the front foot, probe with the jab, right? And then Lomachenko goes to catch the next jab, expecting one to come, right? Because he understands patterns, right? And then he times uh, Linares on that one. Instead of catching it, he shoots a jab, but Lomachenko, but, or, but Linares shoots a one-two instead, right? Trying to break rhythm on him. Now this is also really important, and you'll see it in a second. So he shoots a one-two right there. Same timing, same timing, no action from Lomachenko because Lomachenko understands, right? And now Lomachenko, because he saw that too this time, he's a little hesitant. He's waiting. He's figuring out the timing of, of Linares and figuring out what he wants to do. Now he's able to bait that one too right there, right? Just like uh, Linares shot a few seconds ago, Linares trying to make an adjustment saying, oh, my jab's not working. He's taking away my jab. I got to use a one two now, right? Boom. Now what does Lomachenko do? He sees that jab, he follows it back, boom, and then he ducks the right hand, right? Again, he's a very smart fighter. He, you know, fool me once, right? <clears throat> you know, and Lenar is still having some success, right? But boom, what happens after that combination? He starts moving back onto his back foot, and Lomachenko follows him again with that, with that jab, right? Catches him out of position. Now... This is a beautiful combination. Now watch watch Linares. It's kind of hard because they're they're forward, but look at how Linares' right foot is off the ground. All his weight right now is on his left foot, right, because he's leaning forward. Lomachenko follows him back with that right hand, probing it at him, and then starts catching him with shots because he's out of position. And then again, right, watch Linares shoot the jab, right? And then Lomachenko knows how to get under the, the second punch, catches him with that uppercut. Beautiful work by him. And again, Linares on the back foot right now. Lomachenko is free to punch at him, right? Now, this is beautiful, you guys. Linares is on his front foot right here. He's on his front foot. Lomachenko is controlling him, right? So this is the timing where Linares would normally lean forward and shoot that jab. But Lomachenko is controlling that lead hand. So he, Lomachenko knows that that lead hand isn't coming. And he follows him back. As he pushes his weight on him, he follows him back with that body shot, and that's the knockout, you guys. Let's just watch that whole sequence again. Uh, just beautiful boxing from him, picking up on the timing of Linares and really destroying him, really making him pay for his actual inability to fight on his back foot um, and taking advantage of all those, those, um, those timings and those rhythms. But again, leans forward on his front foot, follows him back with that body shot, just like he had before in the previous frames. Um, and really makes it count this time. Lands a great body shot. Um, just like I think that was the third one that he did this round. Uh, but great work from Lomachenko. Going, getting back, really getting back to the basics of boxing and baiting and taking away your opponent's tools and stuff. Whoops. Sorry if that was really loud. Anyway, uh, sorry about that, especially at the end of the gosh darn video. Um, but anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, again, thank you for all the support. Uh, I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you.